Hey, if you've been following this channel at all, you might be realizing I'm not Brian Vendiola. I've actually never done one of these before, but what I have done is make some pretty cool things you can eat, which is what I'll now routinely be doing on here. So, let's get to it. Cake inspired by Yoshi's Crafted World. Hello, my name is Margo Vela, and this is No One's Watching, a show that no one's watching. Um, <laughs> as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be baking a lot of neat stuff here, mostly gaming related or pop culture inspired. This past weekend, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World came out on the Nintendo Switch, so I figured uh, this would be a good opportunity to make that into something edible. If you haven't seen the No One's Watching Me Game episode from earlier this week, uh, the wonderful Brian had me on and we played through the first good chunk. Yeah, so if you want to sort of know a bit more about, you know, what it entails and just kind of what it's about, you can uh, go check that out. He will fill you in. Basically, um, aesthetically, it's a world made up of crafts like you'd essentially find in a kindergarten classroom. You've got your classic construction paper, tape, Paper plates are a big one, cardboard, painted styrofoam, you know, just all that fun stuff. It's really, really cute, feels really nostalgic. It's also just a lot of fun, especially as a co-op. Sometimes you're helping each other, you know, it's great. Uh, sometimes you're just hindering each other, which is also great. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so today I'm going to be recreating a scene from the trailer that sort of just features the Sun Dream Stone, which is the main sort of story point of this game, this Yoshi. And sort of like just sits atop the Yoshi, Yoshi's Island, I guess that's what that would be. The Island of Yoshi. Um, sitting up there, nice and pretty, it's super cute, got a little, you know, smiley sun guy on it, just covered with these super pretty gems and yeah it's got these little like paper cone trees and you know it's just like a you know happy 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 just joyful tableau of Yoshi but yeah if you just sort of like you know look at that scene like practically it's made up of like a lot of different mediums you know from the arts and crafts world and so I thought it would be a cool challenge to you know make a cake that uh, was sort of using a lot of mediums as well. So let me let me show you what I have so far. Yahoo! Yeah, so I baked this big ass cake, 14 inch two layer cake that I masked in Swiss meringue buttercream, covered in fondant, pinkish sort of color to match the Yoshi Island, which I'm gonna call it. Yeah, so um, that's good to go. I also got um, some straws in here, and these are gonna be our trees, our little tree trunks to make the to make the paper cones. I just sort of rolled out some gum paste and uh, made them into cone shapes for our cone trees. It's probably what I'm gonna do first is just to start by sticking these on and finishing off these trees. There we go. Last tree. So we got our like paper cones with our wooden dowels. We will move on to the next craft. I'm just gonna be rolling out the fondant to do the sort of like, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like the rings around the base of the stone. It's kind of like a carpet. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just whatever the ground is there. So I make these sugar cookies uh, for the bushes. I could've just made them out of board, but cookies are more delicious. And so I kind of overbaked them 
So they'd be kind of more brown around the edges to sort of mimic the cardboard that they're supposed to be. So that'd be cute, little cardboard bushes. I'm just gonna cover them. I don't care about it being perfect because it's just a janky ass piece of cardboard, so not that important. Rough shape. It's a bush, and then they have like sort of the edges peeling off on some of them. Because, you know, they ain't perfect. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. They even have like purposely some wrinkling to them, so I might do that on some too. I cut out some little decorations ahead of time. So I got some little buttons and little flower type things. Paper flowers. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick these guys on. And once they're all decked out, then we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the cake. This is what we got so far. All right, now that that's all on there, I'm gonna get to work on the stone. So I previously made a stone out of rice cereal treats and then sort of just uh, bulked it up using modeling chocolate to sort of put, you know, where like all the different ridges are that will kind of encase the stones. So I just molded that on there. It also made covering and fondant a lot easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna start uh, covering with this blue stuff. So because this is supposed to be a stone and it's made of clay, it's like a super imperfect thing. I'm not really gonna waste my time trying to smooth this out. Like I could, but there just really isn't any point just because of the look of it to begin with. I just think it benefits from being a bit more rustic looking, so. Pretty much just gonna leave it as is, I think. Also got some uh, yellow, pink, and red fondant. I'm just gonna use that to do the rings that are painted on the stone. And then I've also got some sprinkles. Just because the way the stone is, it's, you know, clay, and it's got beads in it, and I can't really put beads in this, so I figured I'd give sprinkles a try. Stone's really starting to come together. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna finish the, like, plant bush, I don't know, that's around it. It's just got some green stuff around it, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be like some kind of plant life, I don't know. So I just sort of molded a bunch of green fondant just around the base, and I'm just gonna roll out in just a lighter color. The little like swirly guys. And stick those on. It's gonna kind of cumber some, I'm gonna start putting more stuff on it. I don't really want to be handling it very much. I think I'm gonna put it on the cake, and then we'll just keep adding to it. So yeah, I'm just gonna add some little details that are on there, which is basically just little paper, paper uh, grasses. So we got little yellow grass, and then we got a little pink grass. This is definitely something I feel like I did as a child. Um, I don't know, some sort of craft. This is very, uh, very familiar. <laughs> so now that the grass is on, and the stone, and everything, it's looking pretty good. Um, I think it's like almost done. We're just like in the final kind of details sort of stage of this thing. Yeah, so I just sort of made like the little pieces of tape. What do people call it? It's like wa washi tape? I don't, wa washi tape? I don't, but you know that fancy decorative tape? Yeah, I got some of that. So I'm gonna stick that on and then uh, we'll carry on from there. All right, nearly done. Time to take a shot. All right, except not really. Um, I don't know why I put this in a shot glass. <laughs> uh, this is glaze that I just made, um, which is just, well, I guess there's alcohol in here, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, it's just 50-50 vodka and corn syrup. And um, we're going to glaze the stone because it is glazed in the game. Cause it's just kind of like a cute little clay, you know, you like make a cute little clay thing and then you glaze it and then it's like, wow, cute little clay thing. Yeah, so that's kind of what this looks like. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, so I'm just gonna glaze it so that it looks more like a real glazed clay thing. Yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. Getting that glaze on there, trying my best is not to drip it on the cake. So far. Oh, good. It's gonna dry like really nice and shiny and it won't be all sticky. It's a pretty neat little trick. If I had a bigger brush, it should be a lot more efficient. 
But hey, guess what? I don't. So we just gonna keep on, keep on going. <laughs> Now that's all beautiful and shiny, let's put on the gems, the stone, the g what are they called? What are they called? Sun dream, stone, you're looking for the gems? We're gonna stick on all these shiny gems. So I just cast this out of ice and all, backed them with gum paste so that they would retain their color when I put them on the thing, um, stone. <laughs> Let's just put them on there. <laughs> Definitely got like major Avengers vibes when I was making these. The Yoshi game has got an Avengers tie in. <laughs> All right, so. Beautiful. I'm gonna stick on the sun. So the sun dream stone has a face. I don't need this glove anymore. Let's just, let's just get rid of that. Yay, now he's gonna have a face. This is like so exciting. He's so happy, you guys. Look how happy he is. Beautiful, okay. All right, awesome. He got a face. Right, Yoshi. We need a Yoshi. We need a Yoshi. Yosh time. Yosh time! Alright. Alright, here he is! Look, he's already done! This is the best. Um, no, he took a little bit of time. But, uh, yeah, here's my little Yosh. Just made him out of modeling chocolate. More Yoshes would have been preferable, but you know what? More Yoshes take a lot of time. So... We got one Yoshi on this island. He is king of the Yoshi Island. Good job. And soul keeper of the Sun Dream Stone. Yeah, I made OG Yoshi in the classic green. I'm just gonna stick him on here and then, and then I think it's done, dare I say. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's always nice to be done after a long day's work. <laughs> um, all right, I think that he just kind of wants to be over on this side. So I think he just goes somewhere, like over here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here we go. There we have it. Beautiful. Look at that. Yoshi's Crafted World. Cake style. It was really cool to put together. And yeah, it was fun just sort of like, you know, messing with all these different things. I had like gum paste and Modeling chocolate and fondant and cookies and rice cereal treats. Isomalt. There was a lot going on. I know it looks really simple, but this was actually like insanely time consuming. Wrangling all those parts together. But uh, I think it turned out really good. I'm pretty happy with it. I guess we should taste it? That's what you do when you create a nice beautiful thing. You chop it up to bits. Let's see what's inside. There it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for not watching. Subscribe. Yeah. Uh, go eat something.